Hello, good to see you. Welcome back to another tactic testing video with Main City, Newcastle, Norwich. Season preview to finish 1st, 10th and 20th. Yes, what do we do? We choose a tactic, Zaz Blue 3.2, a very good tactic. We leave the assistant manager in charge. He has to play this tactic. And then we check out the results and we put it into a little league table and we see how well it's done in our league table. See if it's taking a number one spot. The positive tick attacker, Shadow Striker Tweak is still number one at this moment in time. Yes, so Zaz Blue 3.2. Fantastic tactic. The link for this, if you want to download it, will be in the description below. But if you cannot download it, I'm going to run over it now quite quickly. So please bear with me. If you need B, please pause it. Right, so what we got? We've got a sweeper keeper support. We've got an inverted wing back attack. We've got a ball playing defender defend. Another ball playing defender defend. We've got another inverted wing back attack on the right. We've got a roaming playmaker support. We got a defensive wing of support. I am going over it quite quickly. And there's some add-on instructions. So like I say, please pause it when need be. We've got another defensive winger attack support on the right. Get it right, Tony. We've got a shadow striker attack. We've got an advanced forward attack. And another advanced forward attack. And what tactical style do we have? A custom tactical style. Mentality positive. In possession, we have attack and width fairly wide. Player defense. Pass and dragon is slightly shorter, tempo extremely high, time wasting never, low crosses, work the ball in the box. That seems to be about it. In transition, we have, we have, there. Counter press, counter, roll it out. Nothing on here, Number, nothing on the street boot area. So that is very interesting. Freedom of play. Out of possession, we have. Defensive whip, use offside trap, much higher line of engagement, standard defensive line. Trigger press much more often and then prevent short goal kick distribution. Like I say, this is uh, Main City's best 11 without restrictions. The only thing I want to say about this is I don't know how many goals Sterling and Silva are going to get because they are defensive uh, winger supports. That's going to be very interesting. I know De Bruyne is most likely going to be a top goal scorer because he always generally is in these tactics that I test out. Fran Torres and Jesus up front together. How well are they going to do? I imagine they should do pretty well. Uh, no, two good strikers. Jesus always really lets me down a bit because he never really scores the amount of goals I expect from him in these tactic videos. Wilson and Pukki with the other two teams always seem to score more goals than him. Always. But a tactic, this tactic might be a change. This might suit him down to the ground. Right, let's check out Newcastle. Let's check out Norwich. Let's have a look at their best 11s without restrictions. So this is Newcastle's best 11 without restrictions. St. Maximum and Wilson up front. Now let's get into Norwich. Norwich best 11 without restrictions looks like this. Sergeant and Puki up front. Puki, I know for a fact, is going to bang the goals on like he always does. So I'm going to say it again. What do we do? We leave the assistant manager in charge. He has to play this tactic. Then we come back at the end of the season. We check out the results. See how well they've done. See if there's anything really spectacular. See who's won what. See who's won the FA Cup. See who's won the Carabao Cup, the Champion League and the Premier League. And then we add up all the points. We put it into our little tactic testing league table. And yeah, and that is it. So let's get into the results. They're on Main City's competition screen. As you can see, they won the Community Shield, come runners up in the Carabao Cup, and won the FA Cup. It's all going so well, but going to get knocked out in the first round of the Champions League against Bayern Munich. A tough game. And also, Fiance runners up in the league by Main United by 10 points. That's a big gap as well. Uh, as you can see already, Newcastle 7th, Norwich in 10th place. Fantastic. We'll talk about it in a minute. But let's take a closer look at some of Main City's results. So as I said, they started off with a 3-1 win against Leicester in the Community Shield. Very good. Then a couple of losses in the league straight away. Not great. Oh, Crystal Palace and Leeds, but then went on a great run. You expect anything else. Champions League group, they, I see they've got Juve in it. They won it easily. Played 6, won 6, drawn 0, lost 0, 4-23. Only conceded 5 goals, 18 points. Uh, with Juve, Porto and Club Rouge. Very good results in the uh, group stages. Just a shame about the first round knockout. Uh, I'm not going to go through some most of these. Just going to skip through it quite quickly. You can see there are a couple of losses against Arsenal 5-0. That's a heavy loss as well. 4-2 loss against Chelsea. They did have Grealish sent off. Uh, knocked out Arsenal in the quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup. Very good. Beat Liverpool in the semi-final of the Carabao Cup. Excellent. Beat Liverpool again in the FA Cup 4th round 6-2. Thrashed them. Very, very good. But then Bayern Munich, this one really, 2-0 away from home. And then where's the, where are they again? Then 3 all at home. Unlucky, unlucky. Bayern Munich, a very good team. Beat West Ham 5-1 in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. 
4-2 in the semi-final of the FA Cup. Placed Tottenham in the final and thrashed them 5-0. Asu Stern with a couple of goals and Kyle Walker. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, fantastic result. Let's have a look at the squad. Let's have a look at the players. Let's have a look at who got all the goals. All the goals. Where'd they come from? De Bruyne. Who else? 30 goals. 25 assists. 7.61. Sterling with 24 goals playing a defensive winger role. Jesus with 21 goals, not bad for Aaron Torres, 20 goals. Them two are supposed to be playing up front. Uh, assist wise, we've got De Bruyne with 25, Grish 23, Silva and uh, Mares with 11. Average ratings, we've got De Bruyne 7.61, Grealish 7.46, uh, John Stone 7.32, Carl Walker 7.27. Very good ratings, a lot, a lot of greens. I don't expect anything from Main City. A very good tactic in Main City. Now let's check out Newcastle. Okay, so we're on Newcastle's competition screen. As you can see, knocked out in the third round by Watford in the Carabao Cup. Got to the quarterfinal of the FA Cup and lost against Everton and finished seventh in the league. Three places above their season preview. European Football Conference League. You take it, 59 points. It's not too bad. Seen worse. It's not too bad at all for Newcastle. Very good. Right, let's check out some of their results. They were started really well. They won 3-1 against Brentford, 4-0 against Brighton. Uh, beat Stoke in the Carabao Cup second rounds. What lost against Watford? And then it's just a lot of a lot of losses. They did beat Man City though here three two. Some close games against Arsenal, West Ham, Brighton losing a little good run here in January. Just going through it, like I said, I'm going through it quite quickly. Lost two 0 like I said, in the quarter final of the FA Cup against Everton. The Carabao Cup. Who knocked them out in the Carabao Cup again? It was Watford. Very close. One 0 uh, yeah, they picked up some four near the middle of the season. Near the end, they weren't too bad. Uh, beating Liverpool here. And a very close game against Chelsea and Arsenal. The games they're losing, they are very close. Let's take a look at their squad. Have a look at the goals. Callum Wilson, who else? Uh, Amron, 12 goals. Yeah, where's the maximum? 10 goals. Was he playing up front with Wilson? They said he was going to play alongside him, but who knows? Who knows? Assists, what do we have? Ryan Fraser does so well. 16 assists in the defensive winger role. It's not bad at all. 7.65. Is he got to be the highest average rating, surely? Yes, he is. And everyone else, 7.16, 7.15. And it goes down and down. Uh, a very good tactic. Mm, could have done with a bit more. Some of the results going Newcastle's way. There's a lot of uh, close games. A lot of 2-1s, 3-2s, just missing out. Um, but now let's check out Norwich. They're on Norwich's competition screen and they also got knocked out in the third round by Main City. They got knocked out in the quarterfinal by Tottenham in the FA Cup. They finished 10th in the league, 10 places above their season preview, which is very good. Let's take a look at some of the results. Well, results-wise, they didn't have the best of starts. Losing to Wolves 2-0, losing to Southampton 4-2, had a little win in the Carabao Cup, then beating Aston Villa 4-1. Now we're going to go through it quite quickly. Lost 4-2 in the third round of the Carabao Cup against Main City. Another team that we're testing this tactic with. Beat Newcastle 6-3 with the same tactic. And then beat, well, the game before, beat Arsenal 5-3. Wow. And a close game. It's very close. With this tactic, it goes either way. There's a lot of goals going about. 4-3, losing to Chelsea. 4 all draw of Brentford. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can pick anything else up. Losing 6-1 in the Man United. Uh, losing 6-3 to Leicester. They beat teams like Tottenham, Southampton. 7-0 will against Northampton. A 5-2 win in the league against Villa. Wow. And a bit of a dodgy period here. But look at the games. Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City and Chelsea. Not a great run you'd like to have. Uh, losing 4-0 against Newcastle with the same tactic. Beating Brentford and lost to Tottenham 2-0 in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. What we've got here at the end. A lot of draws as well. 3 all against Watford. A good 4-1 win against Brighton. 1-0 loss against Crystal Palace. They beat Tottenham 2-1. They drew against West Ham. They just lost against uh, Man United. And then they thrashed Leicester 3-0. Pookie with a couple of goals there. Right, let's take a look at the squad. Goals-wise, it's got to be Pookie, surely. 24 goals. Not bad at all. 17 by Rashika. Uh, Sargent getting 15. But Assists-wise, Billy Gilmore with 14. <laughs> Billy Gilmore, 14 assists. Highest average rating. I think it's going to be Billy Gilmore again. It is 7.24. Max Aaron's the right back, uh, 7.18. And then it goes down and down and down. Quite a few greens still, considering 
they finished 10th. That's quite a few greens, quite a good average ratings. They're over they're over the seven, they're in the green, so it's not too bad at all, keeper-wise. Too bad as well. Tim Crawl, 7.03. Right, let's have a look at the Premier League. Who is the top goal scorer? Ronaldo, 27 goals. Puki is number two. Take a closer look. Who have we got up here? We've got Puki in second. We've got De Bruyne in joint third place. And we've got Callum Wilson in fifth place, 19 goals. A load of goals, a load of goals. Highest average rating, Bruno Fernandes, Bruyne in second place. And Ryan Frazier had a fantastic season. Third place, average rating-wise. Take a closer look. I imagine we've got a few more main City players up here. We do. We have John Stones and Diaz and stuff. Grealish. Uh, Billy Gilmore's up there. Cancelo. Very good. Have we got any Newcastle players? Yeah, Ryan Frazier. Norwich and Billy Gilmore. Yes, we do. Open your eyes, Tony. We do. Clean sheets wise, uh, Man City Edison comes second with 15 clean sheets of the season. And where's our other two teams? Oh my goodness me. Newcastle keeper. Four clean sheets. Is that it? Norwich? No. Okay. Not so good for Norwich and Newcastle keeping clean sheets. But I'm not surprised because it seemed to be so many of these games were quite high scoring. Like I said, two ones, three threes, and Six threes, there was goals going about all over the place. Right, let's up a, just about add up all the results and put them into the league table. So let's check out the league table. The Zaz Blue, 3.2, comes in at number 10th spot. 160, drawn 13, lost 41, a goal difference of 65, a points tally of 193. Look at this tactic, drawn only 13. That's the fewest amount of draws. So they either win or they lose. 41 losses, the most losses, 60 wins though. That's not too bad either. Like I say, they... They don't draw many games. You either win it with this tactic or you lose. 193 points, 10th spot, not bad at all. 10 places above Norwich's season preview. Three places are above Newcastle, finishing 7th European football next season. Just unlucky in Main City, but they did win a few things. So they cannot moan about that. Winning the Community Shield, winning the FA Cup, getting to the final of the Carabao Cup. Not too bad, not to be sniffed at. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out some of my other tactic videos. Also, I've got a bit of a Let's Play Tombridge Angels non-league and beyond. Taking them all the way to beyond. Champions League one day, maybe. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please come back again and I will see you next time.